Antonio Sensatello leading the Rockies out <laughs> onto the field as we celebrate uh, Military Weekend. Naquin hit third for the first time as a Red yesterday. He does so again today. So his last name is actually Naquin. Here's the Rockies to twist one. Yep, that's double play, 4 6 3. Well done. There's Senza getting the ground balls. Let's take a look at how things have broken down for Jeff Hoffman. In his first four starts, his last three starts, presented by Western and Southern, what's the difference beyond the numbers? Why are the numbers looking like that? I, I think a lot of it has to do with not attacking the strike zone early in the count. A couple rippies out there now for Hampton. Payoff. Fly to routine left. Shogo Akiyama makes the catch. And Hoffman strands a pair. Suarez moves up to third base on the ground out with one out. And now Shogo Akiyama. Bouncer, he's got speed. Story has no play. Suarez scores infield hit for Shogo Akiyama. And the Reds on top, one to nothing. Josh Fuentes coming up. Fuentes red hot at the plate. And it's second, Hampson's the trail rider, driven a left. It's going to get down in fair territory. Fuentes coming through again. Hampson following it, man to the plate. It is a two-run double for Fuentes. 13 ribbons his last five games. Two to one, Colorado. And Bunt uh, is successful. And a big throw by Hoffman. Here comes Fuentes. Nunez to third, Sensatella to second, three to one Colorado. He just, uh, I don't know, he just kind of got cavalier with the throw because he had plenty of time. Costly error, now two in scoring position, one out still, and Tapia's at the plate. And Tapia lifts this to shallow center. Fuentes is going to come down the line. Here's the throw, and he's not going to get it. Senzatella still at second with two outs for Connor Joe. And he lines one towards center. Naquin comes on and he cannot field the ball cleanly. Senzatella around second. He scores. Joe slides into second. And he has himself a base hit. And the Rockies have another run. It is five to one. Jonathan Daz is 0 for 2 trying to extend a hitting streak to seven games. And that's a base hit left center field. Fuentes will head towards third. And this gets away for a moment. Here comes Josh to the play. Flip to second. That goes to right field. Keep going. Keep going. I don't think it is a real it. The base is loaded. One out. Tyler Naquin due up. Well hit to center field. Base hit. India scores. Barnard given the green light. He scores. Castellanos claims third. Two runs home as Tyler Naquin proves clutch with the bases full, a three run game. Here is Suarez. And Suarez launches deep center field, caught at the edge of the warning track. Castellanos scores. Long sack fly RBI. And the Reds with a three spot in the eighth. They have crept within two. Shogo Akiyama has been a hot hitter. Right up the middle, center field base hit. Naquin given the wave. Hampson comes up, lobbing to second base. The Reds are within a run, and their best bat is going to pinch hit. Center field, deep but playable, and Hampson in front of the track makes the catch. Barnhart the tying run, the most pivotal. Eugenio Suarez coming to the plate. Way up, and it gets away. Barnhart breaks, and he scores. Stevenson up there with a chance to give the Reds the lead. Nixon Zells the go-ahead run over at third. And the dirt gets by again. Sends out to the plate. Another run. And the Reds lead. A two-spot in the ninth. Seven, six, Redlands. And now you're really in a spot here, John, because you've got one of the faster guys in the National League stepping to the plate. I don't care if he hits from the right side or not. The prospects of doubling this guy up are slim and none. Ground ball, India the second on the first, double play, and the Reds win it.